Lawmakers agreed today the Navy should move as quickly as possible to permanently close a fuel depot that has contaminated drinking water in Hawaii. Last November, 14,000 gallons of jet fuel leaked at the World War II era Red Hill Fuel Storage Facility near Pearl Harbor. The mishap made more than 5,000 people sick and drove 3,500 military families from their homes. The issue came up again at today's Senate Armed Services Readiness Subcommittee hearing as members marked up to the 2023 National Defense Authorization Act. And the Navy's initial handling of this crisis led to executive orders, lawsuits, and questioning of the Navy's commitment to the health and safety of Hawaii's people. I've had extensive discussions with Secretary Del Toro about this as well, and he has completely shared your view that, you know, slowing this down is a bad idea and, and accelerating a fix for the families and members who are there is the right thing. The Navy has spent $250 million to address the problem. The budget for next year includes another billion dollars for the safe defueling and closure of Red Hill.